Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Mackenzie Dern versus Lupe Godinez. Uh, Mackenzie Dern, 13 and 5, 2 and 3 in her last five fights. Uh, 0 and 2 in her last two, minus 120, slight favorite. 31 years old, 5 4 with a 63 inch reach. Fighting Lupe Godinez, who's 12 and 4, 4 and 1 in her f last, yeah. 4-1 in her last 5 fights, 0-1 oh in, in her last fight. Lost to Verna Dandrodoba, did well at points in that fight, but right where she really, really needed to get out to uh, make a statement. Verna's able to get her back and ride out the rest of the round, and Verna Dandrodoba wins the matchup. As we know, she just submitted Amanda Lemos, plus 100 even for Godinez. 30 years old, 5'2", with a 61-inch reach, 2 inches taller for Dern, and 2-inch reach advantage for Dern. The problem I have with this matchup is Dern is so re re reliable and relentless with her submissions that it puts her in a bad spot sometimes. You know, if, if you look at it, like I said, she's 13-5 and five overall, only 31 years old. You know, 7 wins by submission, 6 of them in the first round. There's a bit of an issue there. But she's 8-5 overall. She's been finished one time, I guess. I believe that was against Andrade. Yes, it was. Andrade, which was a very bad finish. She loses to Amanda Lemos. Did very well in that first round. And then lost the fight after that. Looked incredible against Angela Hill. And Angela Hills looked pretty damn good. But is here seven, six first round finishes, but seven submissions overall in her career. And you look at it, she had moments with Lamos in the first round, then was able to do nothing. She, All she was trying to do with Andrade was trying to get those submissions, positions, did nothing, gets finished. Was able to do a lot of good things against Angela Hill. Uh, almost had it with Jan, loses that fight. Uh, couldn't, could not get it and also couldn't get off the bottom. Uh, uh, was too relentless with it. Tisha Pennington, she beat her, which was a close fight. Marina Rodriguez, same thing. Has good moments with the grappling and then does nothing. Nina Nunes, she finishes. Verna Janjadoba, she actually beat back in 2020, which is unbelievable. I just think it's a little bit of a different Verna Janjadoba, to be honest. Lost to Amanda Reba Hibas, who is just so not good and she's so overrated. It's funny. Um, yeah, just not good at all. But I, I, I really like Lupi Godinez control time because she has good uh, takedown shots. As long as she can stay safe on on top from Dern, she can ride Dern out and end up winning this matchup. I like Lupi Godinez. I know people are like, oh my God, Lupi is absolutely going to win. I was like, well, Dern is very dangerous off of her back. It's just she accepts positions too much. I like Lupe Gudinez. I think she gets the job done. And as, as always, subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you at the next one. Peace.